Hey everybody, GL Mako here. Um, just wanted to do another FFBE uh, request video. Um, someone asked me to help out with leveling units. Like, what's the best way to do this? So, um, there's a couple methods here. Um, one is by Cactars, which you're probably very familiar with unless you're brand new. Um, I, I take the time to fuse one Cactar at a time to the seven stars. Um, so in this case, if, if I'm looking at my boss here, um, I would just grab the first regular mini tar in line and fuse it and then repeat. Um, the reason for this is if you get a great or amazing success, it really helps, uh, with the process. Um, it does take a lot longer and it is very tedious. So just so you know, um, this is an option. It's not my favorite, but. Um, I do add the characters in one at a time just to <clears throat> um, just to help out with the, getting the unit to 120 in the most efficient way possible. Um, there is another way where you can fuse cactars together, um, you know, make max level ones. So these guys that are grayed out at the bottom are level 60s. So if I add that to a unit, he's, uh, he or she is going to get a lot more experience, um, you know, towards leveling up to the goal of 120. <clears throat> now, the other way that you can do um, some leveling is if you have some experience enhancing gear. Um, I'll show you what that looks like. Um, so for today, I opened the Chamber of Experience. Um, I was going to film this yesterday, but I didn't want to spend the 100 lapis to, to open it because I was farming Gil. Um, <clears throat> so what you would do is you go to Elite on this level. And you want to take one friend unit, whoever. Um, pretty much anybody can handle this. I'm going to take Lulu just for fun. And um, so you want to use the Ramu Esper at three stars. Um, it will add some um, enhanced experience to whatever character you're farming. And if you take just your unit, you'll get all the experience because friend units do not level up, um, you know, as a as they do runs with you, like the, the person who owns them would have to level them up. So, um, but to give you an idea of the gear here, I'm using Sukumo Dao or Sukumo Dao. Um, this is going to give 1.3 times experience for the run. Um, I'm using two growth eggs. So this is 1.5 and 1.5. And then over here, I'm using action and action. Um, that's usually enough. Like, I think I can go a little bit higher on my multiplier, but there really isn't that much of a need to. I'm not going to spend the Moogles to farm some more of those TMRs. So <clears throat> I'll give you an idea of what it what it does here with Ramu. Alright, so we're going to load up the run. It's pretty easy. Um, the friend unit can take on anything. Just bring an attacker or you know, I wouldn't say, like, bring a healer unless your unit's going to do the damage. But we'll check out some of Lulu's kit here while we, you know, mess around and level up Bosch. That was kind of cool. That was Flare Fury. I only have one Lulu, so I can't 7-star her yet. That's okay. So it looks like she did an Imperil for water, which is cool. Uh, we'll do Raging Water. Why not? That looks cool. But, <clears throat> yeah, I'll speed this up just to, to go through. Um, I'll do... I'll just Thundaha stuff. Because it's quick. It has a relatively quick casting animation. And it's not like you'll need to dual cast or anything in here. It's purposely made very easy. So you can level up and not you know, like, kind of be punished for leveling the units. Like, there's nothing really difficult in here. As you can see, it's all relatively low health um, stuff. If you're brand new, just bring a strong friend unit with you. And you'll, you won't really have too much of a problem. But I just want to show you what Bosch gets here um, upon completing the run. And you could do this, like, you could grind energy bars worth of stuff on this method and pretty much level your units for free um 
it does take a little bit of time, but as you can see, so Bosch got two levels here just from that run. Um, learns the new abilities, just like you're leveling up with a Cactar. And <clears throat> it's a good way to burn off energy, especially if you just made a seven star. What I usually do is I use this method up until maybe 110, um, sometimes as high as 115, and then I finish the unit off with Cactars. Um, this does work well, though. It's not like it's, you know, a bad idea to do it. Um, and it, it saves you quite a bit in having to farm Cactars and sitting there and combining. Like, I'd rather battle than do all of that. So it's kind of... I guess it's just based on preference. Some people like to sit there and, and fuse cactars, which I'll never understand. I think it's very boring, but that's not me. You may enjoy it, and I don't judge you for that. So we're just using our buddy Machina here, Machina. <clears throat> I think it's pronounced Machina. I don't know. I'm not very good with the pronunciations. And I'll use Bosch to get an Esper going here. Because I'm still working on that Esper trophy. That mindless grind. It's awful. So, Bosch went in here at 105. Let's see where he ends up now. So this is only in two runs. He started at 103. And right now he's 105. He was at the top end of the 103, though. So this might be good for a level, maybe two. We'll see. Yeah, so it was good for, like, one and a half levels, basically. So that's that's the other method that I've found. Um, keep in mind that is with quite a bit of the um, experience enhancement gear. So you may need to farm that. Or um, some good options are the first and second anniversary rings um, if you don't have the growth eggs. Um, the Sukomo doll, I believe, was free. Um, but if you miss that point in time, you may have missed that. Um, I don't think there's any weapons or shields or armor that increase experience at this point. Um, but if they come out, you can definitely add them into the build at any point. <clears throat> but yeah, those are two common ways of leveling up. Um, I think really those are the only two efficient ones at 7 stars. Um, before that, like there was a, there was a point where Gumi released the, uh, Beasts of the Dark Trial and the intermediate run was giving like 50,000 experience, which at the time was really high. And a lot of people just took advantage of that and leveled up their units until Gumi patched it. And, um, you know, basically like it was an unintended bug, but the players didn't get punished for it because... It wasn't our fault. It was Gumi's fault. Some players just kind of stumbled across it and let us all know. So, but that's... I don't think any of the trials right now do that, like, level you up efficiently. So, um, to my knowledge, these are the only two um, ways to level up. But um, if you have any other creative ideas, let me know. Um, I can always do a second part to this video. But other than that, um, please feel free to... Um, sponsor me on Patreon if you'd like. Um, you can subscribe to my videos. Um, I appreciate any follows, likes, shares, um, comments. Please ask questions if you have them. I'm happy to help the community. Um, if you can give, that's great. If you can't, that's great. I love you either way. You're awesome. And let's play some FFBE together. Have a good day.